Hi, this is Chris with Audio Discovery. Okay, so I wanted today to feature the multiband from Sonatus uh, Cakewalk uh, plugin suite. So, uh, one thing that I think gets overlooked quite a bit is uh, these like 20 year old plugins. <laughs> and I know, I understand why. Um, it's because this looks pretty. And I want to say that there is a lot of the function that you get with the FabFilter Pro MB, which is great. I mean, I, I, I think that there's definitely a lot of, a lot of options that you're, you have here that you don't get in, um, in the multiband by uh, Sonatus. But I mean, it's a pretty heavy price tag anyways. Um, which I don't want to take away from FabFilter. They have great plugins, but uh, what do you want for free? <laughs> anyway, all right, so let's take a look. I have a loop um, that I uh, recorded, and uh, I was a little distracted when I recorded the bass line, so bear with me on that. Um, I pretty much just uh, kind of threw down something and wanted to get this uh, recorded before uh, I lost steam so uh the uh base is a direct in i threw a black box in just to sort of give it a little bit more bite um and then uh i've got a direct in guitar that is um them using the neural amp modeler and uh just giving a little bit of crunch and then um that i wanted those to give me a little bit more frequency and just a little bit more complexity to the signal so that we could have more frequencies to have to deal with um when it comes to um compressing because a multi-band compressor essentially compresses at frequency ranges okay so the frequency ranges are dictated by these sliders so you have crossover frequencies that um are affected by uh dynamics control uh the same dynamics control that you see in the compressor so if we look we've got um this is a threshold uh, slider here you don't really get that um, in the um, in this uh, control uh, section so you've got the threshold slider you've got ratio you've got knee right and a knee is basically just sort of like how uh, if you have a uh, a hard knee you're going to get really obvious compression that's going to hit at the last minute um, versus if you have a knee that softens the compression, but it starts it a little sooner. And it just depends on how you want to hear the compression artifact. The Having a higher knee setting is going to give you a less obvious compression, but it's going to start a little sooner. Um, and that really works for things where you want to hear obvious compression or I'm, I'm sorry, uh, the knee being smoother gives you less obvious compression. Okay. Um, and then, uh, then you have your, um, your makeup gain. So after the signal is compressed, your dynamic range is compressed. So you have less dynamic range. Uh, so that means that the loud parts get sort of, um, less loud. Uh, you get to increase so that you can sort of pull that up to, the expected loudness and then you have attack and release settings um normal changes the compression um characteristic and so, oh, i'm sorry uh the type so normal versus vintage um i don't know how vintage it is i think it's just they kind of threw in this hey we're gonna sort of make this a little bit different um so Anyhow, um, it's useful. It's just another, you know, thing you can kind of throw in and see if you like it or not. Okay. And you get that with each band here. So that pretty handy because then you can have, um, maybe one, um, band gets squashed and the other one gets sort of, uh, you know, allowed to let sort of breathe by having a less, uh, you know, I guess it let the compression lets up a little bit as it gets louder. Okay. Um, so let's hear the loop 
and understand kind of what we're dealing with. We're going to do a, we're going to hear the compressor first, and then I'm going to compare that with the multiband. We're going to hear exactly why you would use a multiband. Okay, so let's do uh, the compressor first. So that's um, that's that's the compressor. Here's the multiband, and then we're gonna run through it again. But then we're gonna hear why the different, you know, what the difference is between the two. So this is the multiband. <laughs> So, um, sorry for the sloppy bass playing. Um, I got distracted in the middle of it. Um, so what you get with the, um, you get an obvious snare, like the snare really sort of gets pulled down quite a bit. Um, and the amount of bass signal that's coming through. So when I mean bass is like bass frequency, not just the bass instrument. The frequency is so much that you end up with um, the bass drum, the bass guitar, and the snare hitting kind of at the same time. The snare gets pulled down because all that energy is coming, so the snap of that snare is pulled way back, right? So listen to that. <laughs> Okay, so hear that on the multiband. Okay, so um, the bass signal is getting compressed quite a bit, um, and the uh, sort of the uh, bands all the way up to three twenty four hertz are being subtle or uh so between 100 and 324 that frequency range is getting maybe a little less compressed than the one from uh 96 but what we hear is that those can stay compressed the snare does not have any sort of uh compression element to the um to that snare uh hit and you can hear that the snare doesn't um, doesn't have that sort of that compression artifact. So what this tells us is that we can really, we can dial in the kind of compression that we need f uh, for a frequency, uh, you know, for a specific frequency. Like I want that bass, the kick and the snare, or I'm sorry, the kick and the bass, drum, uh, bass guitar, <laughs> sorry. I want those to be controlled. Right. And um, if you notice that I have um, the bass, uh, you know, from um, the, uh, you know, from 20 hertz to almost 100 hertz, I have that pushed up because I have the gain. If we look at, I'm going to mute that and I'm going to show you. So this is essentially just really, really controlled. So. Um, what that would look like if the ratio was zero. Oop. So if that ratio is zero, then that means that this signal is coming up here. But if since this is, so since the ratio, you could see that you're getting about, maybe about, yeah, it shows here about 3 dB worth of um compression so that's 3 db of gain reduction um so then we're adding back that gain so that's being re it's being controlled quite a bit and so we're looking at it here so 
when it's getting quiet, it's not getting super quiet. That's kind of just staying pretty controlled uh, within, let's see, let's look at, so that's minus 39 and it's peaking at like minus, so it gets up to, yeah, so it's about in the range of like about 2 dB. Okay, so um, so we're you know we can control a little bit more, but you know we also um, just depends on on what's happening, right? Right now, this is just an example, so we're not going to get too um, uh, we're not going to get too uh, specific about it. All right. Well, what we're seeing and what the what the concept is is that that snare drum does not get compressed really at all. I mean, there are parts of the uh, compression that are uh, or parts of the snare in the um, low mids that is getting compressed with the rest of the signal. But the crack and the decay of the reverb that's in um, addictive drums is not being affected. So you get less compression artifact and less obvious compression artifact on the snare, but you are getting controlled low end. You can kind of turn this into an EQ a little bit if you, um, if you bring these, uh, you know, if you increase the gain of a certain range. So the um, third and the fourth band will increase and so we're going to get more um, more mid-range out of this so whether that sounds good or not you can be the judge but this is basically just sort of giving you some some options in terms of what how you can use it um, obviously you can use it to compress those um, I you know, you want like specific EQ for specific frequencies. The other thing that's really awesome about this is that it comes with an onboard limiter. Um, so if you push the signal um, of, um, so if you push this signal uh, beyond, um, it, it'll it'll go into it and it'll limit. Um, so you get basically a um, a limiter plus, or it was a multi-band compression into a limiter, uh, which is pretty handy. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so um, quite useful, and I think that um, it's underrated. I think that if you know how to use it, this is a fantastic tool. I'm a huge fan of the of the um, uh, of the compressor, of the stock compressor, and I think that the stock multiband should be utilized at the you know at the maximum. Um, you know, whenever a multiband is needed, it just gives you frequency specific compression, and that compression artifact can be you know, dialed in with, you know, some knee settings, uh, some, um, you know, a different compression ar uh, artifact. Um, let's take a look at, at Pro MB for a second. Now, um, Pro MB gives you a lot of the same, um, a lot of the same functions. Uh, it doesn't have that onboard limiter, um, but it does have um, sort of crossover uh, uh, you can be a little bit more specific about um, the crossover uh, uh, slope um, so that, you know, you can get a little bit more detailed uh, with some of the um, items that you need. Um, you get a look ahead, which you don't get on the multiband. Um, you get to, let's see, you can, you can pan mid side, which is really handy. Um, you get to a uh, side chain. Um, so you can add, I think, let me see if you can add to, no, no, no. You don't get a side chain um, with the multiband the same way that you do with the compressor. So with the compressor, you can duck. Um, and with the uh, multi, with Pro MB, you can duck specific settings. So things like, um, you know, sort of getting the, 
bass drum and the kick to kind of play have that interplay together you can get that with the um uh with pro mb you're not going to get that with multi-band however uh yeah you have a uh, a lot of the same functions with the multi-band that you do with the um the pro mb um so anyways give it a shot let you know um i mean it's come it comes with cakewalk so you might as well just you you know utilize it if you have pro mb obviously then you know you can try one against the other and see which one you like better because they are a little bit different okay uh that's what i got for y'all uh have fun take care and if you got any questions let me know thanks